Hi, welcome to Coaches Weekly. Garrett Kajewski here with head men's lacrosse coach Brian Welch. Coach, kind of a tough week, but there were definitely some positive signs. Yeah, the, the offense finally is starting to gel a little bit better. Uh, we saw that uh, you know a week and a half ago, starting at uh, MSOE, uh, it, the score didn't indicate that, but really the offense got a lot more touches, got a lot more looks, and, and something that you know I'm excited to see the maturation of some of the younger guys like Ben Lang, Hunter Covey, obviously, and. Uh, you know, the rest of the offense. So it was very exciting to see, uh, you know, against like Monmouth, you know, we, we started off slow that first quarter. Um, if you take away that first quarter, it's a nip and tuck game. And so, um, and that's, you know, to great defense, but also, you know, the offense stepping up and doing its job. Yeah, and just touching back on the offense, like you mentioned, Hunter Combe, Benjamin Lang, they've really been playing well these last uh, couple games, and your offense has been really possessing more, mm -hmm. be, uh, winning more face-offs, getting more ground balls, mm -hmm. and I think that's just an attribution of what this future, what the future can hold. Oh, absolutely. I mean, you, you wrap around some of these younger guys, and the future does look bright. Uh, I mean, obviously, we talk a lot about Jack, because Jack is Jack is Jack. Jack's good, um, and. Uh, Hopefully he'll he'll be great, uh, which is I know that he will. I mean, right now he's still in the top five in saves in the country, um, and then Hunter uh, really has stepped his game up even more so. Uh, and you know he might be you know small, and, and, but you know he plays with a you know, like a six foot five guy, so which is great. And then Ben Lang has just been tremendous these last couple of weeks, especially distributing the rock, which is great. Um, and, and Jordan has also stepped up his game too and getting that confidence going. So you can see it, you know, more on his dodges and, and whatnot. But, uh, you know, it, for us, it's, you know, you get possession. Hopefully you uh, have, have the officials force that shot clock on us so it can serve, you know, some energy in the legs of our guys on defense. And speaking of the defense, and you guy in that, of course, Jack Liskey, uh first in the confidence saves, still top five in the nation in saves. Really bounced back this week after mm -hmm. a couple a couple games where he wasn't up to par in, yeah. to his standards, but really this week what the Jack Liskey that we know that he's mm -hmm. been doing all season. Yeah, um, yeah. Be, those last couple of weeks were a little rough. Um, yeah, some of it was a little bit of the defensive breakdown too, which didn't help either where you're getting some doorstop shots and you're, you're not going to, I mean, nine out of ten times you're not going to stop that. Um, but Jack does some, find, find some some ways. Um, and you take away that first quarter again in Monmouth, you know, he didn't really see the ball too well that first quarter, but then the rest of the way, he was lights out. And, you know, same thing against North Central as well too. So, you know, we're excited about, you know, the direction that he's going to and the way he really kind of controls the defense too. He gets guys in the right position and, you know, he's nothing but, you know, nothing but spectacular. Now heading into this week, a very busy week with three games. Hopefully the weather can cooperate this oh, yeah. time. But uh, you got a game Wednesday against Carroll on the road and then home against CU Dub and then back on the road against Beloit. Yeah, this is a, a week where it's really going to test the mettle of, of our guys and show what you know this team is really about. Um, you know, I, I've said it since day one, you know, you don't have to ask the guys to be perfect, but if you give them 100%, you know, if they give us 100%, then they'll, they'll do good things. You know, for us, you've got to play our slow, methodical offense. We can't get into uh, a running match with those guys. I think that's what we did with Mom at that first quarter, and obviously it showed. Um, then when we slowed things down, it got better, and uh, that's the things that we need to do. Um, CU Dub is going to be really tough. Uh, they're competing for a conference championship, and even Beloit as well too. So I mean, those are really tough back-to-back -back games. And you know, Carroll is a game I think that you know we can match up well against, kind of like Monmouth as well too. But you know, we've got to play our game and not worry about them. Um, and I think if we do that, and you know, we can hope for you know like a 10-9 game, which would be perfect, or you know, seven-six game. If we can do that, then I think we're in good shape. Well, good luck this week, Coach. Cougar fans, if you can't make it to all the, any of the games this week, you can find all the live links at cucougars.com.